Hi, in this slide I want to introduce listeners to the idea of self-organizing bottom-up energy creativity and to give you a little bit of a, a sort of a comfort zone with the idea because we're going to try to tap into this kind of energy in our, our high performance service uh, culture. Uh, so what I've done is I've got uh, on this, this side, I've got the mechanical story, and over here, I've got what I call the biologic story. So, for example, in the room you're currently in, how does it maintain its temperature if it's a internal climate control type of thing? And everybody hopefully understands how a thermostat works, and, and if it gets too warm, the AC turns on. If it gets too cool, the heat turns on. It keeps the temperature within a narrow range, but it does kind of oscillate back and forth. It doesn't really isn't perfectly steady state. And, uh, you know, if the, if the window gets open or too many people get in there, sometimes it can go a little bit fluey, whereas our body is able to stay at 98.6 degrees very, very efficiently. Sure, at a, at a level, it, you know, it does oscillate a little bit, but much less so. And uh, whether we're running outside in the, you know, the cold or the cold water or we're, we're in a steam bath, somehow it just knows how to very instantly, spontaneously and precisely work to stay at, at, a, at a constant temperature. With robots versus humans, uh, if we look at Siri on your iPhone, unless you ask uh, really a small group of very direct linear questions, uh, Siri isn't going to be very effective, whereas you could ask a little kid who's two and a half and is already fluent in language from an operational viewpoint, lots of things. You're sort of amazed at how they get it, do it, and so forth. Uh, Henry Ford sort of pioneered the, the, the production line, breaking every job into very simple little components and saying each one of you only does one thing, but you add up to a whole. Or we could look at an ant colony or a termite colony or a bee colony and realize they're special, specialty labors. Leaf cutters and leaf carriers and leaf digesters and builders and queens and stuff like that. How do they know who they are, what to do and how to do it and work with one another? You know, it's just sort of this magic, it seems to be coming from, you know, inside somehow. Uh, we can look at vertically integrated businesses. Henry Ford had pioneered what they used to call mines, from iron ore mines to markets. He actually had his own dealerships initially until law said, no, you can't forward integrate. Whereas today, venture capitalists are having problems parking the huge amounts of capital they've raised because companies don't need 15, 20, 60, 100 million dollars. Uh, a couple of people get going programming in their garage and uh, they outsource all their business activities via the web to different web service companies. So they, they only pay by the drink. They don't need to build a whole internal capability uh, and a whole corporate body, if you will, to do uh, the creative, you know, intellectual brain part of what the body's doing. Uh, and we've witnessed uh, in the past central planners, notably the old Soviet Union, uh, not doing as well as bottom-up free market capitalism. So it turns out that if we say we have bomb-proof corruption laws, bomb-proof property laws. So if you invest here, it's your money and you know what the rules are. Flat, low taxes. No riddled 10 million line tax code with special in, special loopholes for every, buy, every special interest group that wants to buy a congressman type of thing. Um, you just get out of the way and bottom up the, 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 the economy creates more wealth and more jobs in record time than anything going. And Hong Kong from 1982 to about 1995 quintupled their GDP, went up 500% in constant real dollars and created mass amounts of job with chronic 2% unemployment rates. So how do we sort of tap into this biologic bottom up, all the little ants figuring it out, as opposed to over here, when a manager thinks that they have to design an organization and, 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 and have every little thing and lots of rules and supervisors and so forth to make it all go, puts a lot of pressure on people. And frankly, it's not very much fun. So we want to tap into self-organizing bottom-up energy. Um, the next module will sort of expand on this concept and give you some, uh, some, some proof case studies of, of how quickly this can happen. Thank you.